Hi, welcome to Faith and Bible ASMR. I'm glad you're here with me today. Happy Thanksgiving. We're going to be looking at verses on being thankful today. If you enjoy learning more about God and His Word, then I'm glad you found our channel and I hope that you'll subscribe and join us. And if you enjoy this video, that you will give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I just want to mention too, as Black Friday is drawing upon us, that I have listed a whole bunch of Bibles and, and Bible resources in the description box. If you would like to support this channel at all, you can click on those links. It'll take you to Amazon and, and even if you don't end up buying a Bible, if you buy something else on there, it will just help support and help me out. Um, I have looked at these Bibles and, and looked up reviews on them and recommendations and, and I actually have them on my wish list right now, some of them, because they just look so good. The Quest Bible is one that is especially good for new believers. It is full of questions and answers. The Life Application Bible that's listed below is just full of helpful application for the passages. My curiosity is really piqued and I am looking forward to owning at least one of them. There are also some journaling Bibles. They have places on the page for illustrations or if you just want to take notes and then make your drawings. Some people really enjoy that and find it helpful in just remembering the passage more and and expressing their hearts as they read. There are also some children's Bibles and you know the kids can just absorb so much and it is geared for their age and I know when my kids were growing up I bought them some that were specifically designed for their ages and they would read them and I loved having those and especially when they were super young and I could read them the Bible stories and it was just so neat some of the things that are available for kids now is wonderful for you young moms out there and just helping the kids absorb God's Word and they are like sponges especially when they're little. I hope you find that an, a helpful resource. It is so close to Thanksgiving as I'm filming and I hope that you have some special plans and you know as Christians we want to express our gratitude to God, not just in general, but realizing that every blessing we have is really from Him. He allows it into our lives. He blesses us with it to show His love. So He really wants us to be thankful and to express it to Him. So let's look at these verses. So the first one is Psalm 106 verse 1 and it says, Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. And what a beautiful promise that is. Then we have Hebrews 13 15 that says, Through Jesus therefore let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise the fruit of lips that openly profess His name. Psalm 107, 21 says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for mankind. And don't you love that, that His love is unfailing? Colossians 3.16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. 
First Chronicles 16 verse 8 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Psalm 34 verse 8 says, Taste and see what the, that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. I give thanks to the Lord. To you, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. And that's Psalm 86, verse 12. Psalm 9, verses 1 and 2 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Psalm 28 verse 7 says, The Lord is my strength and shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song I give thanks to him. Psalm 13 verse 5 says, But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. First Chronicles 16.35 says, Say also, save us, O God, our salvation, and gather and deliver us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Psalm 95 verse 2 says, Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. Psalm 92 verses 1 and 2 says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night. Psalm 97, 12 says, Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Psalm 100, verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Psalm 103 verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Colossians three seventeen says, And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God the Father through him. 1 Samuel 12 verse 24 says, Only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart, for consider what great things he has done for you. Psalm 4 verse 7 says, You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. Romans 8 28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. What a wonderful promise that is, huh? Psalm 32 verse 11 says, Be glad in the Lord 
and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. So again, God wants us to be aware of the fact that our blessings come from Him and, and to give Him appreciation for those things. I hope that you're going to be celebrating this Thanksgiving with people you care about and people that you're thankful for and that you will take time to give thanks to God for those people as well as thanking them for blessing the blessings that they bring to your life because it's always a wonderful thing to hear, isn't it? And I'm just going to pray for us. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for all you've blessed us with. I thank you that we have clothes to wear and places to live and that we have people in our lives who we can be very grateful for, Lord. And I, I truly thank you for the blessings you've given us to be able to walk talk and see and hear and all the things that we sometimes take for granted. But I thank you, Lord, because we know that it all comes from you. Thank you for each person watching and for how you've created them. And I pray, Lord, that you would bless them and that you would use their lives to honor you. And and mine as well, Lord. I thank you for the opportunities that you give all of us to serve you and to pour into other people. And thank you, Lord, just for how good you are to us. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving.